Any on this. Nothing crazy on this slide. Square root both sides since the, the square is by itself. X minus 3 pops out. That's it. Plus or minus square root of 7. We can't do anything with that square root of 7. And that's okay. That actually kind of lessens up our work a little bit. We still need to get X by itself. So we need to add 3 to both sides. So we get 3 plus or minus radical 7. 3 and a radical are not like terms, so you cannot combine those. So we're done. Moving on, a couple more here. All right, three more to be exact. Let's check these out. So you're trying to get whatever's being squared by itself. So we add 10 to both sides. You get x plus 5 squared equals 16. Square root both sides. You get x plus 5 equals plus or minus 4. Don't forget the plus or minus. That's going to be something we many of us forget, so just watch yourself. Get x by itself, we get negative 5 plus or minus 4. Again, we have two answers. We have negative 5 plus 4, which is negative 1. We have negative 5 minus 4, which is negative 9. There's our two solutions. If we want to rewrite it as x equals negative 1 and negative 9. You can do that too. You can leave them circled up like I have right above there. Same deal. Add 5 to both sides. x plus 10 squared equals 32. Square root both sides. x plus 10 equals plus or minus whatever this radical simplifies down to. Be careful with this radical. You want to pick the largest factor that's perfect square. 4 is a factor, but 16 is the biggest factor. So it's plus or minus 4 radical 2. Like we saw on the last slide, we have actually a little bit less work if we have a radical left over. So this is our answer. Subtract 10 from both sides. We get negative 10 plus or minus 4 radical 2. That's it. Last one has the most going on, but same idea. Get whatever's being squared by itself. So you subtract 9 from both sides. Give a negative 3 minus, uh, sorry, negative 3 times x minus 2 squared equals negative 24. Divide by negative 3. Do not square it at this point. So that's gone. x minus 2 squared equals positive 8. Square root both sides, get x minus 2 equals, this breaks into 4 and 2, so 2 radical 2 plus or minus, see, I almost even forgot it. We add 2 to both sides, 2 plus or minus 2 radical 2, and there's your answer. And that's the square root property.